Now, you've no doubt heard of NFTs, non-fungible tokens, that as art has been sold for millions of dollars. And this box is not an NFT, but it is how NFTs can be displayed. Let's take it out of the box. This is an infinite object from the company Infinite Objects. A digital artist I interviewed a few months ago sent it over. Big Spirals Comic Art created this and sells it on NFT auction houses. This isn't just a digital picture that go in a digital picture frame. It only displays this work of art can't be deleted or copied. You can't upload another picture to it. It's like a photograph, a painting, or a sculpture to decorate your home or workspace, but it's digital. This piece called 2021 shows a flying saucer, a Godzilla-type monster, dancing robots, and Greta Thunberg on a building that says, Greta told you so. Plugged into a wall outlet, it plays nonstop. In my interview with Big Comic Art, he explained why this technology makes video art collectible and accessible while supporting artists. Through this technology, people were paying rent, surviving, um, sharing their artwork with the world. Infinite objects sell digital artwork in these frames and allows anyone to create their own art by uploading video clips to their website. So why would you give someone an infinite object rather than just a digital picture frame and some images? Well, you have to remember these are collectibles. They're either one of a kind or they're limited edition. And I know it's kind of hard to wrap your mind around, but like a sculpture, a painting, or a portrait, depending on the artist, these can increase in value. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.